You probably have heard of the term biohacking on the internet in the last few months, but you still don't really know what it actually is. Well, in this video, I will explain it to you and show you my full biohacking routine that you can give a try as well. All right, you might have noticed that certain people are always on top of their stuff. They're in great shape, making a lot of money and feeling their very best. Most of them are very successful businessmen, athletes or content creators. Well, how come that not everyone is in great shape, making a lot of money and feeling good? And the secret is biohacking. These are natural strategies which help your mind and body to perform better than the average man. We need to be able to perform better than others if we want to become one of these successful men. And there's a blueprint, which I'm going to talk about right now, that you can follow, which will get you there. I will talk about how you can implement certain cheat codes in your everyday life and explain you why most people are doing the basics wrong. I've split this video up into three parts, where I will talk about the three most important aspects of our life, which determine how well our mind and body will function. All right, let's get into it. The very first thing I'm going to talk about is our diet. It all starts with the base. The things that we put into our body determine how we will look and how we will feel. Sadly, in today's world, we were surrounded by poison and it's even promoted to us to eat this poison. For many people, it's normal to eat junk food and fast food on a regular basis. So no wonder why obesity rates are going up more and more. Not only our body fat percentage will go up when we eat this stuff, also our mental clarity and the ability to perform physically will suffer from it. So to change that, we need to eat good stuff. To get the very best out of me, I eat plenty of animal proteins and you should try to do this as well. So all kinds of meats and fish give us that natural power that we need. And we also can't forget about the natural multivitamin eggs. The problem is that modern society tells you that these foods are bad, but that's not true at all. I also find it a bit suspicious that they only tell you that the food that you're eating is unhealthy when you eat meat and eggs. But if you're eating fast food and pizza, it's not a problem at all. Well, at the end of the day, all the guys that I know who are eating animal proteins look and feel their very best. So it almost seems like it's a strategy from our society to make us weaker. Then, to also get some carbs into our diet, we can eat plenty of vegetables. These are the kinds of carbs that we want to and which will fuel us right. And I always try to cook my own veggies instead of buying them already cooked because we never know what they put onto them to make them taste even better. Great, so if you do these adjustments with your diet, you will get the base right and you will be able to function properly and perform well. But it doesn't stop there. In today's world, there's a huge lack of exercise. Our body is meant to be moved and if you don't do this, our mental clarity and everything else will suffer from it. Here again, we just have to stick to the basics and lift some heavy weights. To everyone who is thinking that exercising might make you tired, the complete opposite is true. If you exercise correctly and have short and intense workout sessions, you will feel more energized and relaxed after them. And if anyone is telling you something different, they're just trying to brainwash you. And look at them, they're probably out of shape. If you don't know which workout program you should follow, you can have access to the one that I follow at the moment for free. The link is in the description. I've listed all the exercises with the reps that I do. So if you combine working out with a healthy, high protein diet, you're on the pathway for success. A strong body is a strong mind. Then the last, but in my opinion, the most important strategy of biohacking is for our hormones. For us males, testosterone is lower than ever, and this makes us weak and feminine. I'm not saying that being feminine is bad, but if we want to be strong and powerful, we definitely need high testosterone. And to achieve this, we have to focus on a few things. Diet and physical activity is one of them. But in addition, we should try to avoid plastics. You might have heard of the so-called BPAs. These are microplastics which heighten our estrogen. And this is the complete opposite of what we want as males. 
So one of the most important things that we can and should do is get a metal water bottle. Most of the BPAs that we get come from plastic bottles. So this is an easy way how we can avoid them. Then also eating out of Tupperware diminishes our testosterone. Here again, we can see that we are surrounded by plastics and it almost seems like that someone is doing this on purpose to make us weaker. Well, so society is pretty much promoting the opposite of what I've just talked about in this video. But this shows us why the average man doesn't have a good physique, isn't making a lot of money and feels shitty. I can say with experience that after implementing these biohacking strategies, my life changed and my view on everything. So I hope you give it a try so that you can experience it as well. I hope this was helpful. If yes, please like and subscribe and then see you in the next one.